Hey, this is Dineski, and today I'm going to show you how to make your iPod Touch look exactly like the iPhone. So first you'll need to download Mobile Finder, and you'll need to download Customize and Open SSH. And once you download Open SSH, turn Open SSH on. And uh, for Mac users, you'll need to download uh, uh, Cyberduck, and uh, I'll give you the link to that and mobile phone for the application and I'll give you the, the link to that and uh, when you open up your cyberduck you have to type uh, you have to click on open connection uh, for proto for proto call to uh, select sftp ssh secure file transfer and for server type in your IP address and uh, for port type in 22 and for user username type in root ro O T and for password is Alpine A L P I N E and I'll put those in my description. And click connect. I'm not gonna because I already have it connected. So I'm gonna drag my mobile finder. I mean uh, mobile phone into my applications. It's gonna transfer. Allow. And uh, you have to reboot your iPod Touch, but I already did this before, and I put it in my dock. So when it loads, it's gonna be in my dock, and I'll show you in the rest of the video how to do that. So you're gonna restart. And I'll show you how to get all the icon orders in the same order as iPhone. And the iPod app, SMS, and uh, I have another video on how to get all the I iPhone applications on your iPod Touch, so you could check that out. So, um, actually, my mobile phone's right there. Actually. So you can click on that. And uh, looks just like the iPhone. Uh, contacts, you could add contacts, recent calls, and uh, all that. Okay, now we're gonna get the iPod icon with all the music in it. And um, because I haven't found out how to make uh, change the icon of the music, be uh, because of um, I couldn't really find it in the in the cyberduck so uh, I have a tutorial on one of my videos how to download music straight off your iPod without um, the computer and it doesn't go into your music it goes into a pro uh, application called send file so just watch that video on how to do that so you're gonna scroll down in your applications and find send file and then click control click on send file click info and uh, rename send file to iPod and make sure you don't delete the dot app because it just won't show up after that so all lowercase except for the P so capital uh, capital P only click apply exit and uh, find your iPod right oh oops right there click the arrow and you'll see uh, icon.png you're gonna want to delete delete it um, let me just zoom in icon.png you're gonna want to delete that and then you have to go on, search on google iphone replacement icons and just open that up click on icons and you're gonna see the ipod looking thing the white one you're supposed to change it's gonna say ipod.png but you're gonna want to change it to icon.png so the application could recognize it and change the the icon so you're going to drag that into iPod and then you're going to reboot your iPod um, it's going to reboot okay now 
um, you should find your iPod icon right there. It should say iPod, but I can't. You can't see it in the camera right now. I don't think you can. Um, if you open it, you have your songs. I only have two right now. So, and uh, I'll at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to put all the icons in order to make it look like the the iPhone.